All right, guys, so tonight we start the painstaking process of laying out top plates. Um, we've got one set of scarf joints cut for it, but in order for me to cut them all, I have to lay everything out. So don't take for granted that you framed everything right. Go through and actually physically measure from wall post to wall post. Measure all your, your post thicknesses, because if you're building with a rough cut, you're going to have some discrepancies. So take all those measurements down, write them down, get them all in one spot. But in order for us to start doing this, I have to get these over in the corner because I have to be able to stretch all these out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get this one. This is the second, this is going to be the second uh, top plate in from the northeast corner. So I'm going to get this one over there. I'm going to get top plate number one starts at the northeast corner. We're going to get that into the back corner. It's going to need the length of the building to do this. This is going to be a few video process, guys. Be patient, but um, that's what we have. So earlier today, we worked on throwing some more floorboards up because pretty much I need to make room. And like I said, I want a good surface to work off of so we can get moving to this thing. But uh, so anyhow, stay tuned. Here we go. Should be a good time. So you'll have to excuse me guys, the lighting on this end is going to kind of suck. We're dealing with the flashlight, but once we get a couple feet down, we're in the back in the, the floodlight. So we are laying out. We're going to lay out our top plates. I'm going to start with the first two because I've got to go down this thing and see uh, exactly where I can put the scarf joint in the end of the second top plate. Now we got to put these together and fit the joints tight. Everything's got to be tight together because when you lay this out you're laying it out exactly how it's sitting up on top. I mean you can get multiple shots at this but really think of this as you only have one shot at doing this because when you get that thing up there you don't want to have to take it down again and make a bunch of adjustments. This right here, these pieces, these plates, ties the whole building together. So it's kind of important that uh, it's really important that you get it exactly right on the first time. So that's why I said earlier, you know, go through, measure everything. Don't just trust that you were perfect in your layouts and that everything's equidistant. You know, don't assume that because it's just going to bite you in the ass. All right, so the first measurement we have is going to be 10 and a 16th inch for that first wall post. I know I'm splitting hairs with the 10 and a 16th inch, but I really don't want to have to get up there and trim that thing out while I'm up there. So I'm going to lay these out exactly how they measure up above. The next measurement, 144 and a half inches. Once in a while, just check your tape. Make sure you're still on your zero line and keep your tape going straight down the log or your the log the timber next measurement's going to be 288 and a quarter Okay, now this is right here. This is why we had to do this before I could cut this other scarf. Now that first scarf joint is long. Well, it's not long. That piece is, uh, is decent. Let's put it that way. I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say here. 
This is what happens when I'm starting to concentrate on what I'm doing. I have trouble talking to the camera and doing both at once. If I hold off my... Now this part isn't totally... All I want to do is just get that a couple inches past. I just don't want that wall post sitting on top of that scarf or underneath of it. Oh, I'm getting tired guys. I'm starting to talk like a goober. Now I have a little more room on this one than I did on the first one which is nice. So we're going to take advantage of that because I don't want that brace all the way to the end of the scarf. I want a little meat there. Now let's start it right here. to 36 inches. Brilliant. And then the other thing I want to lay out, I want to lay out my brace. So we're going to go 29 and a half off of there because I'm doing a 30 inch layout. Remember that half inch that you're deducting is for the housings. And we're going to come back eight and three eighths. Okay. Now because I'm not cutting these tonight, I want to label what these marks are because when I come back to this I want to make sure I've got it right on. Should have done the layout portion of this in the daylight for you guys. Alright guys the camera's dying so I gotta wrap it up. Um, it's getting late anyway and I'm starting to get tired and uh, I'm going on about four hours of sleep here, so, and we've had a full day today, but I kind of uh, said the point of these daily vlogs, and I don't know how the hell it turned into a daily vlog, you know. I had a buddy of mine who watches ask me, what the hell is a vlog, he says, and I, said, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> you just sharing your uh, daily journey, I suppose, but, uh, so anyways whole purpose of this video tonight one show you the progress we made today that's one of it we got uh, I've got about a third of the flooring left to put on up there and I had to make some room down here second uh, big takeaway from this one today guys is when you go to lay out your top plates very important to lay them all out on the ground first all your scarves need to be cut they all need to be slid together everything needs to be tight remember to measure your wall post up above and do it up above too because if you're a little bit off in the frame somewhere and it can happen these are big timbers this is rough cut stuff you're gonna be off here and there if this was a mill rule frame where you're everything's perfect four sides are square you got the same everything consistently all the time that's not so bad I mean that's a lot easier to do but this stuff you know Please take into account human error for your own work. I've had two of mine. I mean, I've had some mess ups in this. So it's, it's the way it goes. But So, remeasure everything again. Make sure you're accurate. Because like I said, these top plates, once you get them on there, they're big and they're heavy. And you don't want to have to take it off once you get it up there to make adjustments. I mean, that would be just a pain in the ass. So... Tomorrow, now, the next video we'll say. The next video, I'm going to start cutting, uh, we're going to start cutting these on the sawmill, the scarves. I showed you guys how to do it the long, hard way. So we're going to avoid that. Um, so that'll be on the next one. And i got to get my tractor set up again. Not moving this shit around without the tractor, that sucks.
boy does that suck. These things are heavy and my body's feeling it tonight. So, right, so once we get the uh, we get the scarfs cut and we fit them together as we go, the very last thing I'm going to do on these before they go up above is cut the joints for the wall posts and the braces. Fortunately, these aren't going to be that bad to cut. I mean, the, really, the joinery is real straightforward, real simple. There's nothing fancy. Everything's right angles. You know, obviously, except for the uh, the brace mortises, but I usually cut mine straight anyway. Um, some people angle in the 45. I don't see the point because one side of that mortise has no load on it whatsoever. But a lot of the purists out there, they're going to cut that that brace with that 45 degree angle in that mortise housing or in the mortise but uh, so anyhow I'm just rambling away here we're gonna call it a night I'm gonna get some sleep so I will catch you guys on the next one